Welcome to Issues in Japan. The theme this time is the conditions for royalty. I would like to share the insights of Professor Nataka Kamizuka, Faculty of International Cultural Studies, Kanto Gakuen University. The conditions for royalty in the European royal breakaway drama. What happened in the case of marriage to a commoner, and what kind of preparation or determination is required? It is not only in Japan that the marriage of royalty has caused a big uproar. In Europe, where a number of royal families still exist, a number of royals were stripped of their right to the throne or forced to leave the royal family a few decades ago due to marriages of different status. In Sweden, between 1932 and 1946 alone, four princes were stripped of their right to the throne and kicked out of the royal family for marrying commoner women. The same is true for the two uncles of the current king, Karl XVI Gustav, reigned from 1973. And that's not all. The king's three sisters also suffered the same fate. The king has four sisters. The eldest, Margaretha, married an English businessman and moved to England. The third daughter, Desiree, also left the royal family, but she married a baron. Her third daughter, Desiree, also left the royal family but she married a baron, which was still a morganatic marriage according to Swedish royal custom. The fourth daughter, Christina, also married a Swedish businessman. Of the sisters, only the second daughter, Birgitta, married a sergeant of the Hohenzollern Sigmaringen family, and she is still entitled to be treated as royalty. The family she married into also produced the Romanian royal family, and was originally a branch of the Prussian royal family, German imperial family. The other sisters, except for Birgitta, can only take the title of princess, but they are not addressed by the honorific title of your highness, and neither their husbands nor their children are treated as royalty, nor do they have the right to inherit the throne. It was not until the reign of the current king that these customs came to an end. In 1972, when the king himself was still a grandchild, his father had died in a plane crash before he was a year old, he went to Munich, Germany, to cheer on his country's athletes, and met Sylvia, the current queen, a German who was working as a companion for the Olympics. The following year, his grandfather died, and he succeeded to the throne, finally marrying her in 1976. Sylvia was a commoner, born to a German father and a Brazilian mother. Later, the two princesses and one prince born to the king all married commoners. Thus, the term morganatic marriage has become an obsolete term in Sweden. The treatment of expulsion from the royal family, which was common only about 70 years ago, is no longer seen today in the 21st century. The royal family, which has existed since ancient times and the Middle Ages, has learned to be flexible and change with the times. On the other hand, however, there are some attitudes that remain unchanged regardless of the times. These are determination and moral attitude. Whether entering the royal family from the common people or leaving the royal family through marriage with the common people, they had to be prepared or determined. At the same time, whether they were royalty or former royalty, they were required to have a moral attitude. Sweden has had an absolute firstborn inheritance system since 1980, and when Crown Princess Victoria started dating her boyfriend Daniel, she was opposed by both her father, the king, and the majority of the people. However, after seven years of Daniel studying hard foreign languages, history, politics and law, as well as court etiquette, they were finally married. On the other hand, Princess Christina of Sweden, before her brother Karl became king and married Sylvia, had attended various events such as the opening ceremony of the parliament and hosted state guests, and even after marrying a commoner, she had served as the honorary president of the Swedish Red Cross and performed many official duties. During this time, however, she received no royalties from the royal family. As for Christina's sisters, they went on to lead their own lives after leaving the royal family, but they never asked their parents for money, nor did they use the prestige of former royalty for personal gain. Norway's Ragnhild, with her husband's success as a businessman, never bothered her father or brother until her death in 2012 at the age of 82. Even though the days of expulsion from the royal family based on noble marriages are long gone, 
the modern European royal family of the 21st century may be asked to be prepared to play a role as a symbol of national unity and to have a moral attitude not to be tempted in any way, no matter what their origins are, because they are married to royalty. Walter Bajot, a British political commentator in the 19th century, said 150 years ago, the royal family is now regarded by the people as a moral leader, and I believe this trend is still the same today. This is, of course, also true of the imperial family in Japan.